In this video, we are going to plot a basic parabola using the Desmos graphing calculator, and we're going to use a numerical pattern that is consistent with basic parabolas. Now, basic parabola, by what I mean by a basic parabola, I mean y equals x squared. Okay, and that is a basic parabola. So, <clears throat> the basic pattern looks like this. We're going to plot the vertex first, and the vertex for this parabola is the point zero, zero. So let's put that in Desmos. Okay, so that is our vertex. So then we're going to copy that vertex. And I like to put five points on either side of the vertex, five points on the right and five points on the left. So that means that we're going to copy this vertex 10 times. So here goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we just copied the vertex ten times. Now we're going to leave the first one alone, but for all of the other points, we're going to follow a pattern here. Um, to the x coordinates of each of these points that we plotted, we're going to first add 1 and then subtract 1. Then we're going to add 2 and subtract 2. Then we're going to add 3, subtract 3, add 4, subtract 4, add 5, and subtract 5. And you'll see how we do that. So first of all, add 1 and then subtract 1. Add 2 and subtract 2. Add 3 and subtract 3. Add 4 and subtract 4. Add 5 and subtract 5. Now what that means is that we, and you can see it in the video here, or on the Desmos uh, uh, coordinate axis system, We've just uh, made a number of points along that coordinate axis system. And notice that they are all on the same horizontal level. They're all on the x-axis. So we've started from the vertex, which is at the center, 0, 0. And we've moved points one unit to the right, one unit to the left. Then we moved points two units to the right, two units to the left. Then three units to the right, three units to the left. Four units to the right, four units to the left and then five units to the right, five units to the left. And that's what we did by adding those numbers to the x-coordinates of our vertex. So now we're going to go back, and for each of those points that we did, um, where we added one, we're going to square one and add that result to the y-coordinate. So one squared is one, so we add that to our y-coordinate, and notice that the point that was at that point, one comma zero, it just jumped up to be on the parabola. Okay, and so now we're gonna do the same thing. When you square negative one or minus one, you also get plus one. And notice that that point jumped up onto the, onto the parabola. Now, when we add two to the x coordinate, we're going to square two. The, the result of squaring two is four, and then we're going to add that to the y coordinate. So plus four. And we do the same thing when we subtract 2, we also add 4 to the y-coordinate. When we add 3 to the y-coordinate, we're going to add 9 to the y-coordinate. When we, I'm sorry, when we add 3 to the x-coordinate, we're going to add 9 to the y-coordinate because 3 squared is 9. Likewise, when we subtract 3, then we'll, we'll square that, and that's also 9, which we will add to the y-coordinate. When we add 4 to the y-coordinate, 4 squared is 16, so we'll add 16 to the y-coordinate. Um, when we're subtracting 4 from the x-coordinate, square that, we get 16, so we'll add that to the y-coordinate. When we add 5 to the y-coordinate, or x-coordinate rather, square that, 5 squared is 25, so let's add 25 to the y-coordinate, and then we'll do the same for the last point, which is 5 to the left. Now. Um, as we let's zoom out just a bit, okay, I think I made a boo-boo, I did. 
Okay, I added 15 when I should have added 16. So now that point is on the axis. And if we scroll down a little bit more, so I'm gonna, I'm going to zoom out just a bit more. Okay, now we see all of those points and we can label those in Desmos. And one more point to label. There we go. So we have, we just plotted the parabola y equals x squared. Uh, we found its vertex, which was zero, zero. And then from that vertex, we did this procedure of adding one, subtracting one from the x-coordinate. Then we added two, subtracted two, added three, subtracted three, all of that from the x-coordinate. Then we went back and squared each of those things that we added to the x-coordinate and added that result, that squared result, to the y-coordinate, and that puts us on the parabola. So this is how you graph, this is one of the ways that you can plot a basic parabola uh, in Desmos.